we've come a long way, but at the same time, I think we've got a lot of work to do. Women and girls are still facing barriers to jobs in the STEAM industries. And STEAM, by the way, stands for science, technology, engineering, art and design, and mathematics. But an upcoming event plans to help break down those barriers by introducing these young people to mentors in their respective fields. If you, like me, took a degree in physics, um, the numbers are pretty pretty dire. It's like 20 to 30 percent um, women, which is really low and it's stayed really low for a long time. And same thing with computer science. Sandy Ikes is part of the team putting on the event for girls between the ages of 11 and 14. She says some fields are seeing more success than others. Engineering has made a bit of a comeback, made some improvements anyway, in terms of the number of women um, pursuing engineering as a career and which is great. So as I say, I think I think good things are happening, but we still have a long way to go to make sure that there is really good gender diversity. And with the pandemic response, female leadership during the COVID-19 pandemic may have caught the eye of some youngsters. I don't know if any, I haven't certainly seen any studies that reflect that. However, um, I do hear a lot of buzz from young women about the number of female STEM role models who are also leaders in the pandemic. So we see people like Dr. Teresa Tam, Dr. Bonnie Henry, we see them on the news being um, both in a leadership role and in a science role. While Dr. Bonnie Henry was last year's big guest at the Girls in STEAM event, another emerging young woman is aiming to inspire. Science Sam. Some of her skills like talking and writing and explaining are skills that might normally be associated with arts type studies and some of her skills are um, associated with research science and so that nice combination really shows the different skill sets that come together to make a an interesting kind of like starringly famous career. The event takes place this November. It's happening online. And if there's someone you know who would like to sign up, you can take a look at the link below. In Vancouver, Rhea Renouf, City News.